Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This week is going to be a review about Ready to Love, Episode 7. And it's called The X-Files. And this week, all the ladies are going to introduce their exes to their the next. That's what um Tommy said. And Joy decided to bring Laverne and Clifton because that's what she felt like she had the most connection with. And long story short, um, Joy's ex said pretty much that, you know, it was good that Clifton is working on, on, you know, some of the issues that he's had with therapy. And he felt like Laverne was very superficial. So he actually felt like Clifton is more of a challenge and he comes with some baggage, but Clifton is the better match for Joy. And Joy agreed. So the next lady to introduce her ex to some of the guys is Ace. And Ace brought along Tori and Laverne. And you can see it wasn't a good shot with all of them together, but for the most part, when they left, um, her ex said that Laverne is more alpha and he's going to lead. And then Tori will be, you know, the beta and Ace will have to leave, lead in the relationship, excuse me. And then the next people that are meeting are Sabrina is introducing her ex. So she called him the 3Ds, Donovan, <laughs> Tori, and Demetrius, excuse me. And Tori was not engaged at all. Um, this is another shot. I didn't get a shot of all of them. But Tori wasn't engaged at all. He didn't feel like he had any questions for the ex. And Donovan came in really smooth. He gave her flowers. Well, Tori gave her flowers as well. And then the ex pretty much said that he felt like Donovan was a better match. And that Demetrius was more like safe and things of that nature. But he felt her, seeing her with Donovan. And then this is the interaction with Sabrina and Demetrius. And he was a little thrown off as far as, like, Sabrina feel like she needs to be included. Because you remember Demetrius likes a woman that's submissive. And he was kind of asking the ex, like, what if she isn't included in any of the plans? Then the ex was like, well, it's going to be a problem. So I don't know if they're really as good of a match as Sabrina think they are. So... Then here we have Christina or Tina. Her ex met Paul and Demetrius. And the ex pretty much said that Paul was more her type and not Demetrius. So he felt like, um, I forgot what he specifically said about Demetrius, but he said Demetrius was no go. And this is the ex talking to Tina and Paul and all of them. And he pretty much asked them, like, why are they ready to be married? Or what do they see marriage with Tina? And Paul said that he's just looking for his queen to shower, you know, that he can give all of his love to and shower her with love. And I think Demetrius said something along the lines of, you know, he's been married before, so he know what he's looking for and what he wants and, you know, that he could see her as being his wife in the future, so. This next picture is of Dakia and Clifton and her ex. And he pretty much, the ex pretty much said that um, Dakia and Clifton, he could see them two together, so. And they had like a lot of sexual energy and was touching on each other a lot. And this is when Tommy met with the ladies at the wine bar and he was telling the Kia and everyone that um Eric bowed out gracefully and that he didn't feel like he was ready to love and the Kia agreed. And then this is like Ace talking about um her meet with the ex and he was asking questions that she should have been asking and it's kinda of funny because she was like, Okay, I'm gonna have to keep you around talking about her ex and Sabrina, um was telling them about her date as well, saying that it went well and that the ex picked one of the Ds and she's not going to say who. And then this is Carmen and 
I think I didn't get a good picture of all of them, but Carmen met with Donovan and I cannot think of the second person right now. But he ended up saying, I feel like it was Donovan and Paul, but the ex ended up saying that uh, Donovan was a better fit and that Paul wouldn't be able to, like, keep up with her job and he may be jealous. So this is the end after they, you know, deliberated and figured out who's going to go home. And Laverne had found out before, I'm pretty sure Ace told him that um, apparently Sabrina, Carmen, and... Joy were all working against him and they were all trying to get him and he was just doing a lot. And like when he came in, Sabrina tried to hug him and he was like, No, nah, I'm good and he kinda bumped elbows with her and it could have been a lot better, but he was just very disrespectful. Um, I honestly hate that Ace told him because he was like, well, she told me y'all was trying to get me to leave the last time, too. So I just think he had it in his mind that he was that important. And Sabrina said he was not that important. And, you know, that pretty much they just didn't have a romantic connection with Laverne. But Laverne took it the wrong way. And it got to the point where even the producers were like on camera talking to Laverne at the end. And Sabrina, this is where Sabrina pretty much gets up. She walks away. She said she had to separate herself. And she said she was done with it. She pretty much cursed him out and left. I said, you better get it, girl. You better not get disrespected, disrespected by anyone like that. So not anyone that's not that, you know, he's not that important. And then this is Tori and Dakia, and they're pretty much talking about, you know, he's still ready to love, but he needs to work on, like, his attitude and just being more so in the process. And Tori was happy that, you know, he's going to be able to continue on with the process, and he's going to actually take what they say into consideration. And that's the end of my video. Thanks for watching. It was a quick one this week. Take care.